This video is for guitar players who think that alternate picking has a much more distinct, articulate, and aggressive sound than economy picking or directional picking when all three are done right. This video is also for guitar players who think that economy and directional picking are basically the same technique just by a different name. Psst, they're not. Check out this video to learn why. And this video is also for guitar players who believe that John Petrucci, Paul Gilbert, and other strict alternate pickers are really choosing alternate picking over economy or directional because of its sound and not because because, I don't know, they have just learned alternate picking their whole lives, that's what they saw everybody else do when they started, and now they're just post-rationalizing it after the fact. If you believe any of those things, then boy do I have a can of worms to open for you in this video. Because, as you may know from watching my channel, I do not believe that there's a principal difference in the sound of alternate economy or directional picking when, this is important, when all three are done right. But instead of arguing about this with words, what I thought I'd do is play for you five examples of randomly mixed up examples of directional picking and alternate picking. And I want to have you decide for yourself, either in the comments or in your head, if you can tell the difference between the sound of alternate or directional picking. In a second, I'm going to go off camera, I'm going to play for you each example, slow and then fast. You decide if it was alternate picking or directional picking, and then I'm going to show you the answers. I'm going to go on camera, show you exactly what I played. You can see a close up of my picking hand. I'm going to show you the tab as well, so you can see the whole thing. And to make this as scientific and as objective as a guitar player can, and to make this as challenging for myself as possible, Possible, I'm gonna do this completely naked. No, not what you thought. I'm gonna turn the amp off and play completely unplugged. No distortion to hide behind, no reverb, no delay, no nothing. Just my pick hitting the unplugged guitar. All I'm asking you to do is to be as intellectually honest with yourself as possible. If it turns out that you can hear a massive difference in the examples I'm gonna play, then hey, my hat's off to you because your ear is definitely better than mine and it's certainly better than any guitar player I've ever met in my life or even heard about. But if it turns out that you really can't hear a difference and you thought you would be able to, then maybe, just maybe, you're wasting your time trying to practice alternate picking and trying to build your guitar speed on hard mode, and maybe it makes sense for you to switch to directional picking and learn to play just as fast in a lot less time with a lot less effort. So here we go, example number one, played slow off camera. <laughs> Example one, faster off camera. Example two, slow. Example two, faster. Example three, slow. Example three, faster. Example four, slow. Example four, faster. Example five, slow. Example five, faster. Example number one, played slow. Example one, faster. Example two, slow. Example two, faster. Example three, slow. Example three, faster. Example four, slow. Example four, faster. Example five, slow. 
And example five, faster. So, be honest now, how much of a difference did you really hear? Did you hear a massive difference? Let me know in the comments. And if you happen to be a smart ass scientist watching this, I know this was not 100% scientific, okay? Nor am I trying to pretend that it was. This is just one guitar player making one YouTube video. If you really wanted to make a scientific study, we'd need hundreds of guitar players playing thousands of licks to control for all the different nuances and variables we'd have to control for. Obviously, we're not doing that here. My only goal here is to cast some doubt on the theory that alternate picking is a choice guitar players make based based on its sound. Because as you just heard, there really is not that much of a difference between the two techniques, at least not to the level that warrants the passion that guitar players exude when they talk about alternate picking versus directional or economy picking. Oh, and if you're still thinking that alternate picking somehow has more clarity, more power, and more articulation than directional picking despite what you just heard, I got something else for you. Say you're playing with alternate picking and you're doing a downstroke on the D string and then you have to do an upstroke on the G string. What has to happen? You're doing a downstroke, then your pick has to go around the G string like this, then it has to stop, lose all momentum from the previous note, from the downstroke, start going in the other direction, engage the G string, and finally push through it. Now that has a certain amount of power, but compare that with directional picking, where you do a downstroke on the D string, and then the pick simply falls on the G string, and then to play the G string with a downstroke, you continue using the momentum from the previous note to play the second note using the same motion you already were doing. Using your seventh grade physics knowledge, you let me know what is inherently more powerful, continuing the momentum of the previous note to hit the second note with the same momentum, or starting over with a new set of motions in the other direction. You tell me. So, there you have it. Let the very interesting discussion in the comments commence in three, two, one. And in the meantime, if you want more help with building your guitar speed, and specifically you want to do it without spending a lot of time practicing and without doing any slow practice, hit the link in the description of this video or go to the pages on the screen right now. I'm going to show you a free one hour masterclass called Guitar Speed Formula. What it is, is a new way to build guitar speed without having to start slow and gradually build speed in small increments because, let's face it, that's a pretty boring way to practice and more importantly, doesn't work anywhere nearly as well as most people tell you that it does. If you want to know a new way to build speed, hit the link in the description and Enter your email address, I'll send you the video for free. And if you like this video, hit the like button to let YouTube know you enjoyed it and it'll spread it out to other guitar players like you and they'll benefit from it the same way you did. This is Mike Filipov, guitar practice expert from practiceguitarnow.com. I'll see you next time.